What's going on you guys? It's me Anarchy Ninja. So I am playing Domination on Silk Road and one of you yesterday or the day before asked me to use the ACR, get some footage with that. So here I am, I'm using the ACR. Now, you guys might be thinking I sound different. So if you didn't see Twitter, by the way you guys should follow me on Twitter, link in the description. I got a new mic today. It is called the Blue Yeti and it is a really good mic. And it's not actual headset for those who don't know. It is a lit it's literally a microphone, like a professional type microphone. I can't even talk microphone. What the heck is a microphone? But it's really good. Quality is really good. Now, one problem I'm having with it is trying to find out the right angle I need to have it at, the right settings I need to have it at, to give it the right balance where my voice isn't too loud and the gameplay is not too loud so you can hear it. You know, just, just fine tuning it basically. And so I need your guys' help. Let me know what you guys think because you're the ones I need to be pleasing. It might sound good to me, but it might sound bad to you. Oh my gosh, there's another one. So let me know what, what you think I need to do. Now, I know the mic is really good and has really good sound quality. My only problem is my setup, I don't have much room. Let's put it that way. So when I have it, it it's to my right right now currently on my desk. So I'm not facing it directly, so to speak. So that might be one of the problems on why my, it sounds like I'm a little far away, but it's a really good mic for when I'm doing actual commentaries, when I actually be able to have it in front of me and talk into it like you're supposed to on a microphone, it will be great. So just let me know what you think. When I'm doing live commentaries, it's going to sound like this most likely, but I have been having problems. Why I asked, why, if any, if any of you are going to ask, why did I stop using the Astros? It was simply because one. There was a clicking sound. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I sure noticed it. Every time I do something, you could just hear it clicking, and it was really annoying. It was just in the background, constantly clicking. I hated it. I couldn't stand it. But one of the problems happened was the Astros work fine. Besides the clicking, they work fine. But a couple days ago, if you guys noticed my live stream, it sounded like I was yelling at the top of my lungs into the mic, which was not the case to those who thought that was happening. I was talking normally, but for some reason, the mic was being real strange that day and was picking up a lot of noise like if I was yelling. So I thought I had the mic too close to my mouth and I moved it away. And it still did it. So I don't know if the wiring just got messed up. So I was like, you know what? I had been wanting to get a Blue Yeti microphone for a while. Really helped with commentaries. So I just gave in and did it. If you're wondering, it cost $100. And to me, it's an okay deal, especially when I'm doing YouTube all the time. Since I do daily videos, it will really help. So, I hope you guys like this sound quality. Oh my gosh, there's a guy down here. And this, yo, for the record, this is my first time playing Domination on Silk Road, and I actually really like it. It's actually not a bad map. I'm actually really liking this. Holy crap. Hopefully, the sound will be good. I recorded this ACR gameplay a little earlier, but for some reason, now the Elgato did not save the audio. Like, it's just so annoying. It's always something with me. I don't know, but it's not the microphone. Microphone's great. Now, I just need to figure out why the Elgato stopped recording my, uh, my sound. So, but let me know what you guys think. I need your guys' help. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what I need to do. I need honest opinions. And tell me what I need to do to get better. You guys got to give me tips, you know. And tell me what you want me to upload, what you want me to play, what you want me to use. Just like whoever asked me to use the ACR. Bam! Here it is. And one thing I did, I was doing a little test in the test range to try to get the mic to sound... Whoa, hello. Trying to make the mic sound a little better. It just sounded like I was a little too far. I actually have a desk with a drawer, like, that I'm, that's on right next to me where my computer is I pulled out the drawer and I set the mic in the in the drawer to bring it a little more in front of me because I don't have a mic stand at the point so I'm kind of MacGyvering it to try to make a mic stand basically with a drawer like just to get it at the right level but let me know what you guys think though because I really need to know like it's really bugging me hopefully this video will actually work but to me the mic quality is good in my opinion I really like it it, to me, it's a huge improvement over the Astros, especially if you guys notice the clicking. That clicking, oh my goodness, it was one of the most annoying things. When I would sit there editing videos, all you would do is hear a click, and it, it really flipped me off. Let, flipped me off. I don't even know what I just said. It pissed me off. There we go. But anyway, on my ACR, I know it's a little late in this video. be starting to go over setups, but I am using a folding grip and a coyote sight. And what, uh, I think it's a muscle break or flash suppressor. I'm not really sure. But one thing I wanted to talk about was the ACR. Some of you might think it's OP, but me personally, I like it. I really don't think many guns are OP. If it takes multiple bullets to kill someone, okay, that's fine. A shotgun, a sniper rifle, don't. That's just my opinion on it, you guys. But one thing, one gun I will say that is OP. It's not really the gun's fault. It's kind of a glitch in the game. It was like the MX4 with the two hit. Now that, 
Let me, like, clear that up. That was a glitch. Don't get me wrong. That was not okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna get him? Oh, we traded. Freaking A. Ah, I hate that. But ACR is really good. One thing, one tip I want to give to you guys is burst fire. You guys wanted me to go in, maybe not so much tips and tricks, because me personally, I don't like getting into tips and tricks too much. Or, you know, a, a specific gun setup and gun review and what the, what is about the gun. Because honestly, there's every YouTuber has that. Most of the people I subscribe to on YouTube, big names, not going to name names, that's all they talk about. They go into the charts and the spread and yada, yada, yada. And to be honest, you don't need to know that on how to do good. You know, the charts only do so much. You're the one pulling the trigger. The chart's not, you know. You can find this stuff out that the chart's telling you just by coming on and playing one game. It's not that hard, you know. That's just my take, though. I really don't like doing things a lot of other people do. I know I just do a lot of gameplay. But I try to bring you quality gameplay, you know what I mean? I don't have, like cutting stuff out like some YouTubers, you know, they... Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Man, I keep running into like the whole mother trucking team. <laughs> don't like running into that many. Alright, let's see what's going on. Stop running. Let's stop running and just go kill some people. Oh, they're behind me. Oh gosh. Wow, I just... Speaking of insta-killed. Yeah, that's a good heck glitch right there. But one thing I, I wanted to talk to you guys about, about the tip, was burst fire. Me... I noticed on this game, one of the first things I noticed when I came from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4 was the importance of burst firing. And one reason I really like the ACR is because it has a really high fire rate. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love guns with high fire rates. This is a really good gun for it, and it also is good for burst fire. What I'm saying with that is, oh, uh, I'm dead. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but with a high rate of fire gun, in the case is the, of the ACR, when you just tap it, I'm not saying put the gun on burst fire, I'm just saying tap the trigger. And you can get two to three rounds off in a good burst and there's not a lot of recoil. The good thing about doing that with a high rate of fire gun as to a slow rate of fire gun, because you're getting more rounds off, you can get burst off faster, and you can kill people. And this, the thing I really like about the ACR is it's real accurate. You can get people out of head glitches, which as you guys know about Battlefield, any Battlefield, Head glitches are, they really ruled Battlefield. One guy and one head glitch can lock down quite a few people for quite a long time. You know what I mean? So burst fire is a real effective way to get them out. And some people, some games burst fire doesn't really come into play too much. Even Battlefield 3, I didn't think it, it was important, but it didn't have as big of a, it didn't make as much of a difference. This game, especially with high rate of fire guns, burst fire is insanely important. And oh my gosh. I, I need to, like, stop running in there. I was like, what, 30 and 3? Now I'm 34 and 6? Come on. But it is super important. I really like... I don't like putting it on burst fire. That's not what I'm saying. Don't switch it to burst fire. Me, personally, I love having the gun on full auto because you never know. Me, I'm running around. I might just run into a guy around a corner and you need to be able to just light him up. I mean, I don't got time to just sit there shooting. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a lot. Dead again. Shotgun. Cool beans. Gotta love shotguns. Oh, is the mic working? Okay, okay. I was checking the mic. Like, the thing looking like it was muted. Like, no, don't tell me it was muted this whole time. About to throw a controller if it was muted. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Get off me. ACR is just, really is one of the top guns in this game. Top carbine, in my opinion. It is just basically unrivaled. It is that good. I know some of you won't like it. I know there's people out there who think all these guns are OP, but all they do is use shotguns and sniper rifles. Like this guy behind me. But that's just, we all have opinions and we're all entitled to them. But me, I just don't think shotguns help you much. If you're trying to get better at the game, I don't. I say don't use shotguns. Because that's going to mess your aim up. Especially me, I'll go play, let's say, a game with 870. And it will actually mess my aim up. Because I don't have to compensate for recoil. You just get used to having to shoot somebody one time, usually. Not all the time. <laughs> but you don't know, it doesn't teach you how to compensate for recoil. And that is one of the things. I don't like going in the game and being bad. And see right there is a good example of burst firing, how important it is. And oh my gosh, there's another one. There's just so many bad guys. Oh my gosh. Man, that that really is a good head glitch. Man. You can run all around the map with that. I can't spawn on this guy. Here we go. Let's go clear this mother cluck and head glitch. Where's this guy at? Why, he didn't die from that? Come on now, bro. Good job, teammate. Teamwork. Oh, my aim. My aim. Until I started concentrating to aim, my aim started getting bad. Oh, my gosh. Where's that other one? I just saw him here. 
Trying to make sure the guy's not on this other side of the head glitch coming after us. This is exactly what I'm talking about on a head glitch. You're able to just lock down an area. Where'd he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? There he is. Yo, can they go on this side of the fence? Okay, I was gonna say, if he flanks me here... Look at the importance of burst firing. This is going to go in full auto. You probably wouldn't have really done much to him at that end. At that range, but burst fire just that's what I wanted to say, man. It really does help to the people who think it doesn't. It, it, it truly does. Oh my gosh, that guy is right behind me. Oh, goodness gracious. Good job, teammates. Oh, there's still one more. Excuse me, bro. I need your gun. I don't like this car. And I pick up this car. Well, ain't this just some lovely crap? <laughs> Where's this guy? I thought there was a dude right here. Where'd you go, bro? Guess I'm not here. That that head glitch really can help control this flag. Oh my gosh. You guys want to know a good spot. If you want me to start going over spots, that's a good spot right there. That wall, you can lock stuff down. Oh, my aim, my aim, my aim. Oh, but I got him. And he's floating. And if you guys are wondering why I prefer high rate of fire guns over low rate of fire guns, simply because I run around. I don't camp. I don't sit in a corner. Normally, I won't sit behind a head glitch a whole game. Like, I'll be running around. It might stop and use one, but I'm not going to just primarily sit there. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. And I just love having a high rate of fire because you can just drop people instantly, especially people using L LMGs. I know he killed me there. Normally, if I shoot him, it wouldn't happen. That's just why I prefer AEKs, ACRs. And really, that's why most of those games, people think they're OP because they kill you so fast. Not necessarily because they're OP. It's just because they get out a high rate of fire. That doesn't make the gun OP. The bullets do, in mo a lot of cases, less damage than some of the high, the slow rate of fire guns. It's just that they get the rounds out faster. So that doesn't make the gun OP. That just means if you're a good shot and you can fire full auto or burst at a good rate, you can do really good. Wow. Speaking of getting insta-killed, th this game, I've been getting insta-killed. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And keep your fingers crossed at work. I know it's going to work if you guys see it, obviously. So I'm basically saying it for nothing. But, man, this is my third time trying to get this video. Let's hope it works. I hope you enjoyed the mic. Let me know your thoughts on how it was, what I need to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And have a nice day.